Tanya, did you kill your son? Absolutely not, Steve. Um, I made a lot of mistakes. I was really young. Um, I did drugs when I was pregnant. Dakota was born two and a half months early. Um, he was born addicted to, to uh, crack cocaine. Um, he spent six weeks in the NICU. Um, during this time, of course, CPS was immediately involved. Um, they gave me a whole bunch of things that I needed to do, parenting classes, um, to comply with and get clean and get into treatment, to comply with whatever they asked me to do. Um, I did that. At six weeks old, I was able to bring him home. Um, even though I brought him home, I continued to use. I was in the same environment, around the same people, continued to use. Um, one night, we got pulled over. We were in our town next to ours. We got pulled over by the police. Um, Jerry admitted to the police that we had been using cocaine. Um, he was arrested on the spot. Um, they let me go home. Um, I, wasn't, I was booked, but I wasn't taken to jail because he had priors for thefts and drug use. Um, he went to jail. I had to stay at my mom's. There was a recliner that was right next to me in the living room, and I had the recliner up, and I had him on that. Um, but he was crying a lot, even though after I fed him at midnight, he was just crying, crying. Finally, 2 o'clock in the morning, he settled down, fell asleep. At 4 a.m., I got up to feed him again. He was fine. He was eating and happy and alert, smiling. But then after I was done feeding him, I tried to settle him down to go to sleep. He did not want to go to sleep. Um, I was waking everyone up in the house um, with his crying. So I found, uh, looking around, trying to figure out what I could use, I tried to look for a drawer because I'd heard people had made beds out of drawers. Um, but all I could find was this big, huge suitcase, like a big two-foot by three-foot suitcase. I opened it up. On the deep end, I put a soft, puffy blanket. And then I put him in that, and he wasn't crying anymore. He was just kind of eh, eh, fussing. So I was like, okay, he'll be okay. He'll self-soothe. And so I, I drifted off. He was, you know, just fussing around. I drifted off. Um, 8 o'clock in the morning, my mother woke me, and she was standing over me, and she said to me, Tanya, something's wrong with Dakota. And I jumped right up, and I noticed that his skin was very gray, and he did not look good at all. Um, I'm like, Mom, we have to go right now. We're not going to wait for an ambulance because the hospital's five minutes away. Okay, so we drive to the hospital, and, and while well, I got him on my lap, there's no car seat, okay, because I don't have time for a car seat. I got him on my lap, and I'm rubbing his chest because he stopped breathing in my arms. So I'm rubbing his chest, and I'm talking to him, please, maybe little short breaths in his nose and his mouth, trying to get him to come back. We arrived to the hospital. I ran in the hospital holding him in my arms, running, screaming for somebody to help me. The nurses came out. They took him. I had to wait in this other room. Um, then the, they came in, and then the doctor had told me, well, we think this was a SIDS-related event, but, but he was, you know, you, you found him before he'd actually passed away. So we got to go in and see him, and he looked fine. He, um, he was beautiful. He was, color was back, and he was smiling. The doctors came in and said that he had suffered, um, suffered greatly from the, the period of time that he had gone without oxygen. Um, so they said that his brain was swelling, and that they couldn't stop it, and that he was going, he was going to pass away. There was nothing they could do to, to save him. Well, let's bring Jerry up. I blame you. You're going to go to hell, bro. You put my son in the No, 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 no. Shit. No, 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 man. You put him you, in the you, you did this. You, you put him. This. Let's bring up Kanawha. You know, this isn't about the two of you. This is about my brother, okay? You're right. You're right. We're not here to throw shade. Right. We're not here to throw shade. Right. You stop right. that. Right. I'm not here sorry. for that. I'm sorry, I love no, you. No, no, stop. Why I'm no, because I still have to talk. You know why I'm here. I still have to talk. I don't know I who you are. Tell you. I don't know. Okay. I, there's no way to know. There's no way to know until this test, these you test results come out. You know I love you. This wasn't not your fault. None of this was your fault. What he told you was not your fault. Yeah. And that you grew up thinking that how do I, was not how your do fault. How do I know that you weren't strung out? That's why I'm here You were strung today. out on crack two weeks That's before this happened. That's why I'm here today. But now you're dropped cold turkey, right? How do That's I know that I'm you didn't put him today. in a suitcase and shake him because you That's were mad at my I'm father? Here today, how do though? I know that? How That's do I know? why I came here. Well, we're going to find out. We are going to find gonna out. We're going to find out. The truth's going to come I, I out. Everybody's going to know. Feeling. All I these know bridges, if you kill him, Listen, all your bridges are burnt. It's okay. Everything. I didn't, Kanoa. Prior to his death, did you shake your four month old son? You answered no. Did you smother or suffocate your four month old son? You answered no. Did you close the lid to that suitcase with your four month old son in it? You answered no. 
Did you cause any of those injuries to your four-month-old son before his death? You answered no. The results came back all the same to each question, and it came back that Tanya told the truth. Wish you all the best of luck. Stay sober. Don't go back to your old ways. Good luck to you.